I'm going to show you how to make ethylene and then make power out of it renewably in the mechanism mod for Minecraft. And I'm going to make it very easy to follow and understand. So here is our gas burning generator. This is how we're going to turn ethylene into power. This is our final destination, the red root. To get this red root, which is our final output, we need to get some things from the green, the yellow and the blue root. So then. In our pressurized reaction chamber, we are using hydrogen, water, and biofuel to make substrate. We actually don't care about the substrate for the purpose of this video, and you can actually discard this. What we want is the ethylene that is the byproduct here. So let's start off with the green route. We are going to be pumping out water with an electric pump. This needs to be powered at the back using universal cables and you can pump it out the top with a mechanical pipe. You then want to put this into the right hand side of an electrolytic separator. That's right, the right hand side. That's if you were following it this way. That is because the left hand side is gonna output our hydrogen. So you can see it's actually facing this way and this is the back of the machine. Technically you can put the water in anywhere, just make sure that the, the left side is left. So again, we're using an electric pump, pumping out of mechanical pipes into an electrolytic separator. That is gonna separate the water into hydrogen and oxygen. On the oxygen side, make sure to dump S. We don't want this to fill up and it will stop our processing. We can leave the hydrogen alone. That's gonna be pulled out with a pressurized pipe into our pressurized reaction chamber. On the yellow route, we're simply outputting with another electric pump, water, into the back of our pressurized reaction chamber. And on the blue route, we're putting in our biofuel. So I'm using melon slices, but you can use whatever you want for this. I am pulling with an ultimate logistical transporter into a crusher. And it's crushing the melon slices into biofuel. And I'm then pulling out of the crusher into the PRC, otherwise known as pressurized reaction chamber. That all comes together, the water from the yellow root, the hydrogen from the green root, and the biofuel from the blue root to make substrate and ethylene will be a byproduct. Let's just go over that one more time. Green root, pumping water into an electrolytic separator and outputting hydrogen into a PRC. Yellow root, we're pumping out water into our PRC. Blue root, we're crushing bioorganic materials into biofuel and putting it into our PRC. Then the byproduct is ethylene. Using a pressurized tube, we can output that gas into a gas burning generator, electricity. And there we have it. Using a few simple ingredients, we have made power using ethylene. Just to recap it one more time then, we're just gonna, um, in case there's anything you know, you're not sure on, the pump here doesn't, it'll automatically pump out into the mechanical pipes and the right hand side will automatically do um, oxygen and left will do hydrogen. That's how these separators work. And it'll automatically eject into the PRC. You are, you are going to want to go onto your items config on your PRC and make sure that you're putting the, uh, where is it? Um, to gas, ethylene. Oh, I've broken the whole thing. <laughs> oh my God, but you get the message. And on your crusher, you want to make sure you're using your configurator in configurate items if you're using these pipes to pull from a chest. And then you can pull them out of the crusher as well. So that's going to be for the pull. And that is how we make ethylene. Hopefully this was useful for you. I have also got videos on things like HTPE pellets, how to use the configurator, and lots of other mechanism guides in the playlist you can now see on the video. If this was helpful, please do, of course, subscribe. I do lots of Minecraft tutorials in the same playlist. And you can also join my Patreon if it was really helpful for you and you would like to support the channel. I can also give you extra support on Patreon if you would like one-on-one. -on -one. 